Fresh basil is so bountiful right now from local gardens and oh my gosh, just the smell of it makes me hungry for something creamy and delicious and a little bit Italian. A lot of times people love to make pesto with basil and it's a great way to use up lots of basil at one time. I've developed a recipe for a basil pesto pasta sauce that's so creamy and delicious you're gonna love this. It takes lots of basil, about two cups of packed basil leaves, so I've already gotten those prepared and ready to go. And I also already sauteed some chopped garlic three chubby cloves is really good. Nice chubby fat cloves of garlic. So I sauteed the, the little bit of garlic until it just started to turn golden brown and then right away I took it out of my pot and put it in a little bowl so it stopped cooking. So I'm going to put the fresh basil leaves into my food processor. You could also use a high speed blender for this. Typically a recipe for pesto would call for pine nuts and sometimes walnuts. Pine nuts are a little expensive right now, so I'm choosing to use cashews instead of pine nuts, and I'm using a quarter cup of raw cashews, meaning that they haven't been roasted or salted. And then you can use a quarter cup of Parmesan cheese, but I like to make this dairy-free, and so I'm gonna use some nutritional yeast that you can buy in the store, and it has a flavor just like Parmesan cheese. Now I'm going to add the garlic that I've already sauteed a little bit. And I'll put that right into the food processor along with about two tablespoons of fresh squeezed lemon juice. And then I want to add some olive oil and I want the olive oil to just be drizzled in real gradually. And now I'm going to put it back into the little pot that I sauteed my garlic in. As this pesto is heating up, I'll just add a little bit of salt and pepper. And then I like to add a little bit of spinach or arugula to this, maybe one big handful of the arugula. And then just stir it a little bit until it wilts. And I've also got one can of coconut milk. And I'm going to add this to help make the sauce really nice and creamy. And you can use any kind of pasta that you like. Today I'm using those ramen noodles that I love and I've already cooked them so I'm gonna put them right into the pot. I'll just stir them up into this creamy sauce. And it'll be ready to eat. I'm Sue Doden sharing Good Food for Good Life 365.